गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वर्ल्ड ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ बायोमॉलिक्यूल्स एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सपोज यू टेक प्लांट टिश्यू एनिमल टिश्यू बैक्टीरियल पेस्ट और आर्ट्स क्रस्ट लाइक यू टेक द leaf from a plant or liver from an animal you take some bacteria and make their paste or you can take soil so if you take these samples and analyze them so what are their chemical composition if you do that you will get some common components like you will get hydrogen carbon oxygen sulfur nitrogen sodium calcium magnesium silicon these are the components you will find in all of them so they all are same or not okay now this hydrogen and carbon although you will get them in living tissue as well as in earth crust but you will get them in more amount in living tissues in animals or plants body so hydrogen and carbon compounds you are getting in abundance in living tissue next we want to perform an experiment here so you are taking a mortar pestle here and you are taking an animal tissue like a piece of liver or in this case you can take plant tissue also or you can take bacteria also now you are keeping those tissues in the mortar pestle and you add trichloroacetic acid so we know acetic acid is ch3 c double o h now trichloroacetic acid is CCl3 C2H so you are putting this acid in this tissue mixture and now what will you do you will make a paste you will make a slurry you grind them and you can get the slurry next thing you need to take a strainer and you put that slurry in that strainer right and you are keeping a flask or a bowl beneath the strainer and you strain that slurry that you have got from the tissue so after some times you will get two parts the first part that is there in the strainer itself this part that is called retentate retentate means they are actually acid insoluble so you have added trichloroacetic acid and some compounds are there in the tissue who are acid insoluble as they are acid insoluble they are not coming out in this flask and another part is there that is having filtrate and filtrate is those chemicals which are acid soluble so when you have added trichloroacetic acid some components are there in your tissue which are acid soluble they are called filtrate and some components are there 
who are acid insoluble they are called retentate now the components which are soluble will always be smaller they are smaller components and the components which are not soluble they are larger in size smaller means the molecular weight of them would range from 18 to 100 dalton so all of the components which are acid soluble are having size or molecular weight between 18 to 800 dalton those components are called micromolecules because they are smaller in their size and among those micromolecules you will get monomers or oligomers like amino acid you will get single amino acids monosaccharides monosaccharides like glucose you will get monosaccharides you will get oligosaccharides so oligosaccharides are not monomer they are oligomer one oligosaccharide is made up of very few monosaccharide units so you can get oligosaccharides also in those micromolecules you will get nucleotides nucleotides are basic unit of dna rna we know so single nucleotides oligosaccharides monosaccharides amino acids these are very smaller molecules smaller components they have very low molecular weight and these chemicals or components are dissolved in acid they are in the filtrate and some molecules are there who are larger who are not acid soluble they are present in the retentate so among them you will get protein nucleic acid like dna or rna will get here you will get polysaccharide carbohydrates you will get lipid so protein nucleic acid polysaccharides these all are polymer they all are polymers because they are made up of number of monomers like a protein is made up of number of amino acids or dna or rna is made up of huge number of nucleotides a polysaccharide or carbohydrate is made up of huge number of monosaccharides so they all are polymers except lipid lipid is not a macromolecule but other than lipid these all are macromolecule they all are polymer protein nucleic acid polysaccharide they all are macromolecule they all are polymer they all have bigger size their size is like more than 10,000 Dalton they have bigger molecular size above 10,000 Dalton exceptional is lipid here lipid is exceptional now why lipid is existing in the retentate or acid insoluble fraction why lipid is not soluble why lipid is not found in the filtrate so lipid is not polymer it is a monomer it is micromolecule it has small molecular weight but lipid is found in the retentate so for that we need to understand this thing so whenever you are making the paste from a tissue a tissue is made up of huge number of cells right and each cell is made up of a lipid bilayer plasma membrane the plasma membrane is made up of lipid bilayer that we know and in the lipid bilayer of plasma membrane you will get mainly phospholipids phospholipids are found in the plasma membrane now these phospholipids are amphipathic 
that means they have two parts one part is water loving or hydrophilic and another part is water hating or hydrophobic hydro phobic and hydro philic now if this is a single lipid molecule this part is the phosphate and the phosphate is an ion because of this part the lipid is hydrophilic and this part is containing a fatty acid chain and because of this part the lipid is hydrophobic so fatty acid chain is hydrophobic and phosphate is hydrophilic that's why these phosphate groups of a lipid bilayer they tend to face this extracellular surface or this watery surface but the fatty acids like these are all fatty acid chains which are hydrophobic they tend to come inside the lipid bilayer they want to stay away from water now when you are making the paste the cell will be broken down and when the cell will be broken down it is generating some pieces some pieces of plasma membrane like these now these pieces of plasma membrane they do not stay like this what they do they form vesicle like this because if they form vesicles these portions of lipids which are hydrophobic these portions can stay away from water these are those portions which are hydrophobic and they can stay away from water and these are the hydrophilic phosphate groups which stay toward the water that's why they form vesicle and the vesicle is formed just because of the amphipathic nature of lipids now you can understand that in this retentate you are getting the pieces of plasma membrane you are not getting single lipid molecule rather you are getting the plasma membrane pieces that's why they are bigger molecules but a single lipid molecule like these the phosphate and the fatty acid this is very small and this is not the polymer this is the monomer but you are getting the piece of plasma membrane in the retentate portion that's why you will get lipid molecules in the retentate now this lipid is not polymer because when you are finding lipids in this state they are not interacting with one another one lipid molecule is not interacting with other lipid molecule but they are only staying together just to avoid water therefore they are not polymers they are monomer units which are staying together just to get rid of water so these macromolecules and micromolecules all of them are called biomolecules biomolecules are macro plus micro molecules so all the organic carbon compounds that we get from living tissues are called biomolecules 
so organic carbon compounds just remember this thing organic means the compounds which must have carbon which must have carbon so all organic compounds must have carbon compounds and you will get carbon hydrogen bonds in all the organic compounds most of the inorganic compounds do not have carbon exceptions are there like carbon dioxide but most of the inorganic compounds do not have carbon whereas organic compounds must have carbon so all the organic carbon compounds that we get from living tissues are called biomolecules